When I gave my life to the Lord, I was a stripper and I um, made a decision to completely change my life. I had no idea where to go to church, what to do, how to dress. And one day I was sitting out at a coffee shop and some girls were walking around and they were telling everybody about their church. Well, I was so excited. I thought this is going to be it. This is going to tell me where I can go. Maybe they'll be my friends. And instead, um, they took one look at me and the way I was dressed and how I looked and gave me a dirty look and passed me over. I was going into fourth grade um, and that summer my parents sat me down and told me that uh, they were getting a divorce. And uh, I remember being blown away by that. And then uh, on top of that, we showed up at church over the next few weeks. And I just remember feeling this this difference there that we weren't supposed to be there. Like, you know, we had divorce slapped around uh, our chest. And for me, it, it made me feel like there was something wrong with me. I trusted Christ when I was in high school. Um, decided to go to Bible college so I could figure out uh, some of the answers to my questions as far as the Bible and God and making that work practically. During my senior year, I really felt like instead of getting answers and getting help with some of my questions, I got rejected uh, in so much as even the college president uh, calling me out in one of the classes and basically saying, if you just, you know, if you, you still have questions this late in the game, you just don't get it. I grew up in a church for 20 years. And when I went to college, I made a few mistakes and got pregnant out of wedlock. I knew there would be trouble. I knew there would be gossip but I never expected a phone call from the pastor asking me to resign my membership. Well, for the first time in my life, I was really coming back to God. I was trying to, to really reconnect with Him, and my life was a mess. I was going through divorce, I was in debt, I didn't have any friends, and so I actually wrote a letter to a friend of mine that I knew from high school. I knew that she was a pretty strong Christian, and um, I thought maybe we could start up a friendship. So I sent her a letter, and a couple weeks later, I, I got a package back in the mail, and. I opened it up and there was no letter, it was just a pamphlet on why divorce is a sin. Well, I struggled with uh, same-sex attraction all my life and uh, being a Christian and brought up in a Christian home, Christian school, I had difficulties dealing with it and uh, went to my pastor because I knew there was some kind of issue with me and that I had some problems and instead of receiving um, the spiritual guidance, I received, uh, you know, hatred and I was condemned, and uh, I was asked to leave the church. There came a point in my marriage where things got really rocky. I made a decision to trust the people at the church and start telling them about what was happening, um, and I expected them to, to try and understand. I expected them to help to accept us broken like we were, but instead they judged us, they judged me, they blamed me. It was definitely not okay to not be okay. I was five years old, I was going to Sunday school and I seen a statue of Jesus and I knew my grandmother would really like it so I took it from the church and gave it to my grandmother. The next Sunday whenever I went back to church, the preacher took me aside and told me I was gonna go to hell for stealing. And uh, it really scared me and that really turned me off and I asked my mom if I had to go to church anymore and she said not if I didn't want to. So I stayed away from church for 31 years and I pretty much went to hell for the next 31 years. It made me feel rejected. I was totally crushed. To this day affects my family. What good did that do anybody? God forgave me, but the church couldn't. I wish you would have treated me like a brother instead of a piece of garbage. We need to be examples and not tell people what they have to do or what they should do, but just show them what we do. Yeah.